Um, podcast question. Uh, dear Billy Graybush. <laughs> I was recently... These are getting really personal, guys. I know you're running out of ways to insult me, but, you know, at least you taught me how to say sherbet. I'm actually going to call my lovely wife, Nia, after this podcast and be like, how have you been letting me say sherbet all these years? And no one would say anything. But then I wonder afterwards, it's like, did that guy just say sherbet? It's sherbet. Not Sherbert. It's not a new Muppet. All right. Dear Billy Graybush, I was recently listening to your podcast when you brought up drinking and how that it is the easy way to go to deal with your problems. I don't think I ever said that directly. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe I, what I was saying was like that. I don't, I don't know. I don't even remember half the shit I say. Anyways, this person says, I've been a booze bag and done some pretty deplorable stuff since I was 18. I use it to suppress my childhood problems, but I feel it's really time to quit and to try to deal with that in a functional way. I don't want to be that old guy with a massive nose. Yeah, that's called a gin blossom. And a face the color of a beet. <laughs> I'm 26 now, and every time I stop drinking, my friends shit talk me about how I'm not fun anymore. Should I risk losing my friends to better my own life? Uh, yeah, I don't think you even have to lose them. Just be like, yeah, you just be like, listen, I'm going to fucking die. I don't, I don't want to look like W.C. Fields when I'm fucking 27. Um, look, you can, I, I, you can just stop drinking and then try to stay friends with those people. And if they're not going to be friends with you, if alcohol was the only reason why you're friends, then you need to get some new friends. Unfortunately, you're only 26 years old, so you got plenty of time. Plenty of time to find new friends. At my age, it's hard to find new friends. Because, um, you know, most of your good ones are dead. And, uh, and then people my age that are looking for friends, it's usually because they're assholes. <laughs> and they got kicked out in their 30s and 40s with people that should have been their lifelong friends. Um, anyways, love the podcast and what you bring to the comedy scene. Thanks, you. Thanks and go fuck yourself. Um, all right. I'm gradually learning how to speak English during this podcast. Sherbet. Sherbet, and it's anyway, not anyways. Anyways. All right. Underrated. All right. Shopping for deals. Um, I make decent money. If I spend an extra $1,000 a year on groceries or everyday supplies... Because I didn't price shop, I'll still be fine. Uh, after prices started inflating, I started looking around and realized no stores, no store has deals on everything anymore. You really have to look at multiple stores. I don't care if you need to save money or not. If you are giving into the convenience of paying four ninety nine for dish soap, dish soap instead of a dollar ninety nine, you're a fool, and are contributing to the fall of civilization. Oh, look at you. You got it all figured out, don't you, you tight fuck? Um, I'm going to tell you this right now. You know, if, if you can afford to pay four ninety nine instead of $1.99, you can just fucking get the dish soap that's right in front of your face and not make an extra goddamn trip uh, and, and actually live life, I would do that. But, you know, I, I've been there, okay? When I wasn't making money, I would, I would just, I just went to some shithole that smelled bad and was, you know, I went to the, you know, the bodega around the corner when I was living fucking in New York City. That fucking asshole used to mop it up with the same dirty goddamn mop. And I remember thinking like, why doesn't he just change the mop here? What I should have done is I should have just gone over to the shelf and got some bleach and poured it in there and been like, that. it's still to this day, I can still smell it. And that was like 27 fucking, it was half my life ago. Um, that place probably doesn't even exist anymore. That's a fucked up thing. It's probably some glass tower. Um, with talking heads from CNN and Fox News living in there. Um, yeah, you know what? You're right. I think that sometimes because I'm terrible with money. Like I don't spend a bunch of money, but I also don't give a fuck. I shop like a guy where I'm just like, I need this. Are you selling this? Great. What do you want here? That's how I shop. I don't go around 
doing shit like that. But I think you're actually right. That's why I kind of gave you shit, because I knew you were right. Because I, I do that all the time. I just don't give a fuck. Like, part of it is I'm like antisocial. And it's like, now I have to go talk to another person. Now I have to walk into another store and there's going to be that security guard who's like 108 years old, you know? When are we going to admit that most of the security can't do shit in this country? It's just, they just have a person there so they won't get sued. And they just hire somebody who got fucked out of his security money to fucking stand there, you know, and lean up against a, a goddamn, you know, display of, of, of dishwashing detergent as you come over. Hey, how are you? You're the security? Yeah. And did you fight in the Spanish-American War? How fucking old are you? Oh, Jesus, Bill, that's ageism. Just fucking, why would you stick an old guy? Is he just putting another victim in the store? Um, unless they have, unless they wire their help, I've fallen and I can't get up button to the local police. Maybe that's the way you do it. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, anyway, college football starts next week. Is next week's game? Let's 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 take a peek here at the NFL schedule. Let's take a peek. The NFL Thursday night game, right? NFL Thursday first game schedule. When is it? Week one. What? Do 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 do. Put it do. Put it do. Da 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 it's not next Thursday. It's the Thursday after. But look at that game, would ya? Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills versus the Rams and that fucking guy from Detroit who I already forget his name even though he won a Super Bowl. What the fuck was his name? The second the season's over. See, back in the day, I used to when I had football cards, I would just go through them like flashcards. Granted, I wasn't flying all around the fucking country and having two kids and shit. Uh, what the hell is it? Matthew Stafford. Bam! Got it. Who else is playing? Oh, would you look at this? Would you look at this? Would you look at this? Saints versus the Bengals. Browns at the Panthers. 49ers at the Bears. Steelers against the Bengals. Look at that. A big fucking divisional game right off the bat. Eagles versus the Lions. Colts versus the Texans. And look at this. Look at this. My New England Patriots with Mac Jones is going up against the Dolphins who signed Tyreek Hill. Can we cover them? Um, the Washington Commanders. Jesus, fuck. The Cleveland Guardians, the Washington Commanders. What is it? That sounds like one of those. Both of them sound like names of, of sci-fi, like space TV shows that would be spinoffs from Buck Rogers that would go half a season. You know, Lauren Green stars in The Commanders. Um, the New York Football Giants against the Tennessee Titans. Oh, here's a fun one. The Chiefs versus the Cardinals. Raiders, Chargers. Jesus Christ. Last time I watched a Raiders, Chargers game, I was on mushrooms. It was fucking amazing. Um, <laughs> Packers versus Vikings. Buccaneers versus Cowboys. Tom Brady going into Dallas. Oh, my God. There's going to be a lot of Botox leaking after he fucking drops 400 yards on them. And then you got the Denver Broncos against the Seattle Seahawks that do not have Russell Wilson. Wait a minute. The Broncos have Russell Wilson, and he's going into Seattle. You're telling me you're not going to sit down and watch that? Does anybody do it better than the NFL as far as the show? I'm not talking about, you know, they take care of their veterans the way this country does. Um <laughs> Shots fired. All right, that's it. That's the fucking podcast, man. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you to everybody that came out over the last week. Uh, 
In the last week, I've performed to more people than I've probably performed to in my life, without a doubt. It was unbelievable run, and I got one more show, <clears throat> and I'm already feeling like I'm going to be in a stupid mood. And I, and I wrote a couple jokes today. I didn't really write them down. I just, they got them in my head, you know? I was sitting outside uh, by the fucking valet and uh, enjoying myself having a fucking root beer and a little short cigar. And now I'm going to head in. I'm going to do a little fucking damage there tonight, hopefully. Um, all right, that is it.